Hi, and welcome to the Market Alert for Monday, the 30th of January 2023. So Friday, massive short squeeze spark surge in stocks despite hawkish shift in rates. So good news was good news for junk stocks. Well, you interpret it any way you want, can't you? Stocks uh, bought and bonds sold in key risk week. Well, this uh, week we see uh, the CPI, not the CPI, the FOMC interest rate uh, meeting minutes and also a 25% basis rate increase is what's uh, forecast and predicted there. We got the press conference as well. Uh, up until Wednesday, well, there's nothing for today, no news, so the market will make its own direction. And then tomorrow we've got uh, consumer confidence, uh, which may help uh, with Powell's decision on rates. Uh, that's forecast uh, to show an increase as well. So again, more inflation renews. That's all we've had for the last few weeks, and the market continues to uh, move up. Uh, Wednesday, we've got some CPI flash estimate as well. Uh, core CPI and then we've got the ADP non-farm so that means we must have on Friday the non-farm payroll so the Fed meeting minutes now seem to be coinciding with the uh, non-farm payroll so we got that on Friday as well which is forecast to be low but this is the one that they love to uh, adjust isn't it take note of that 223 it won't be like that after 130 it'll be revised down so whatever this number is it won't look so bad uh, that seems to be the the picture. But the main main event uh, of the week is whether they actually just go with 25 basis points. And if they do, that's going to be bullish for the market, in my opinion, because uh, it'll show that the Fed are starting to ease and add more momentum to the upside. So you might see a few days down, but once we get to uh, Wednesday evening and they make the decision on uh, rates, and if it isn't 50 basis points, then uh, we can expect to see... Uh, the market continue to move to the upside. Well, why wouldn't it? Why wouldn't it? Gold-silver ratio is uh, down slightly on the overnight there as well. So let's have a look at uh, the markets and we'll kick off with the Dow. So in the Dow on Friday, the market trading up to 78% retracement there and coming off at the close or before the close and then uh, overnight prices are lower as well. So again on Friday, slightly different to the pattern that we've seen for the rest of the week. As soon as you expose the pattern, they change it, uh, mark it up, then it came down and then it went back up and then uh, sold off and has continued to do so uh, overnight and is heading down towards the low where it's likely to find some sort of support. They won't want it to get below uh, what was the DP on Friday and uh, the low as well. The implied volatility is uh, down slightly, uh, 1555. I would love to see it down in a far uh, lower range. If you look at the 12 month chart, that's where I would like to see it, anywhere within that 13, 14 where we had the other week. Uh, that would be good before we have any sort of correction in the market. But at the moment, uh, we're sitting at uh, the 1555 level there. The German DAX remains strong. You've still got this huge move we've had in the background there, unlike the Dow, the S&P, which has been more or less a bit of a failed rally. Uh, starting to turn over a bit, though. Uh, it's starting to look slightly weakish there. Uh, so we could see a bit of a correction coming in. It needs to after the move that it's done. And uh, I would think somewhere in that sort of region of, well, 38 will take you back to this low. And the 20 bar moving average as well. So that wouldn't be unheard of to get back to that sort of level as a first target. In the 30 minute chart, uh, the market was down, which is the same pattern of the week. Then it came up and then uh, news on Friday lunchtime. And again at 3 p.m. in the market, then back up with the Dow until, uh, of course, the Dow sold off and the German DAX uh, followed. Uh, again, close to the low, but at the moment it's uh, trading from this low to the high down at 78% where the market uh, tends to find uh, some support. If not 89, if it breaks out, then you've got the low of uh, Friday there as well. In the five minute chart, uh, choppy in the futures, uh, the market, cash market moved higher, then traded sideways, broke down a bit. Uh, you got the retracement in there and then we moved up uh, mid-morning. Nothing happening until mid-morning on Friday. 
and then made its way down with the news. You can see the news and the volume there and then back up and uh, before the close, but struggling with the 200 MA. But uh, that wasn't a problem after the market closed. The electronic session on the German DAX uh, continuing to move up until the Dow started to sell off. And then overnight, you've seen a decline in prices there. And uh, if we just squeeze the chart a little bit, you'll see uh, Friday's low is there. So, you know, don't be surprised if the market actually tests it uh, before wanting to move up. And if it does move up initially, you've got uh, the DP and uh, the close of Friday in the way there as well. In the S&P, trading up to 89% retracement from here to here, stopping there with a weakness overnight as well, as you can see there. And uh, there's your S&P for Friday, traded sideways, and then uh, 2.30 kicked off, and then the sell-off there as well. So again, having retraced uh, at least 78% of its uh, move during Friday. So waiting for Powell to see what he's going to do on uh, Wednesday night, although that may, may already be baked in there. Who knows? Uh, in the FTSE, also starting to look uh, weakish, some reality coming back into this market, having shown its strength. Choppy Friday, as you can see there as well. Just going to go back to the daily, and uh, let's just draw in some sort of target areas to the downside. We've got uh, this one here, short term. Uh, you'll see the markets come through 38.50, and uh, just sitting at 62. If we come a bit further back on any potential move, you'll see there's a confluence there of... Uh, fib retracements uh, which you'd expect and the market uh, could find support as well because it takes you back to where there was demand where the market has attempted to move up for the last couple of days but in the 30 minute chart uh, we're already below friday's low uh, so it's definitely some weakness there and also the average have switched in the 30 minute chart and they're all in the right order with the five below the 20 20 below the 50 and the 50 below the 200 there in the currencies, waiting for Powell, see what the dollar does, uh, but still good ranges in the uh, GBP, JPY, as can be seen on Friday. The market down 50 odd points, then we got the news and then they brought it back another 50. Uh, gap down on the Asian market and has since sold off uh, a good 80 points there and now picking up some support at uh, Friday's uh, low there. Meanwhile, the pound is still very strong as uh, can be seen here, we've got this uh, double top resistance though. We're still in the 124 range, 123 something at the moment. Uh, 123.50, somewhere in that region. Uh, market sideways there. 30 minute chart for Friday choppy. Again, obviously inversely related to the dollar. And the dollar is showing some sort of strength at the moment. But the pound is still holding very well as you can see with the 200 MA there. Market coming back. And getting back above this each time miles away from friday's low as well and closer to the high in the dollar we had uh, thursday or friday of last week trying to move higher but uh, overnight uh, the dollar showing a bit of weakness uh, we'll have a look at the 30 minute chart of this uh, just spread this out so yeah you can see we had a bit of a bit of selling there on the uh, overnight bit of a push down uh, but the markets uh, bounced a bit there as well again waiting for powell on Wednesday. Meanwhile, in the metal, silver continues to trade in a range, as it can be seen there, it's stuck in a, a range bound market. And in the 30 minute chart, uh, tried to come off the 200 MA till we had the news and the London fix sending the market lower. And then we've got the DP there and the market uh, trying to move back to the upside. In the gold market, uh, not so uh, more of a trend than a sideways move uh, in this one that can be seen there. Starting to get a bit sideways now. Obviously, again, waiting for Powell on Wednesday. 30 minute chart slammed down, but uh, back back up overnight. So gold, though, very strong at the moment, uh, holding the metals to the upside there. And probably will be the best performer of this year by the time and along with silver by the time uh, we get uh, to December when uh, more carnage will have come down the line. So there we go. There's a quick roundup of uh, where we are with the markets. And uh, like I say, no news today. We'll have to wait and see what uh, Powell has to say on Wednesday. OK, that's it uh, for this one. If there's uh, anything to report, I will let you know. But uh, otherwise, as ever, thanks for watching. See you in the next one. Mm -hmm.